All right, here we are. This is uh, Interstate 20, and I'm on the side road. And we just pitched the tent. We're about seven or eight miles west of Pecos. And it looks like we bedded down there some mean thorns. They go through your shoes, your tent, your tarp. They ain't nothing nice. Woo! Here's some that are alive. That ain't dead, that's alive. Them thorns are rough. So I took my bike out there and I'm gonna load my bike out there. I didn't want to walk through this. See, the dead ones are, man, I just pulled a one out of my shoe that's probably an inch long. Well, I pulled two or three of them out. So yeah, we got a long ways to go to Van Horn. Well, it's 90 miles and we probably went seven, so 80 something miles, 83 miles. I don't know, it ain't looking good. We got rain coming. Van Horn has a 70% chance of rain uh, between six and seven o'clock this evening. So uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna dress, I'm gonna uh, load it for rain, put everything in the tarp, or a lot of it in the tarp. Well, the big bag anyway, in the tarp. And hope I find a bridge along about six. Get underneath the bridge for an hour. It's supposed to go away, but that's Van Horn. So I don't know, I don't know about Pecos. Yeah, I'm having extreme uh, problems with cramps. They tighten up so bad, they almost break my bones, my little thin bones. They're in my calves. Just, I don't know, wake up like three or four times a night, and it's just, ow, oh, the pain is unbearable. And it lasts for a pretty good while, but then it goes away. But, uh, yeah, bad cramps in my legs. I weighed myself not long ago, within the last week, and I'm 155 pounds. So I'm losing weight. I'm five pounds uh, underweight. I'm supposed to be 160 for being six foot tall. I'm 155 and losing weight. But I, like, I don't like being fat. I'd rather be skinny. It's easier to ride. Uh, yesterday I only got three hours of sleep, or la not last night, but the night before last, I only got three hours of sleep, but I still managed to do the 30, 31 miles, that's what my odometer said when I left, uh, Pecos, 31 miles, and then I done another seven, I guess, seven or eight, I don't, not for sure, uh, outside of Pecos, west of Pecos, uh, wow, yeah, rough stuff, sure it's pretty though, and lots of good music, man, everybody and their brother was going down this road last night, I mean, my gosh, it was just car after car, all up in, I don't know, probably till two or three o'clock in the morning, and now there's just very few traffic. And this is a Monday morning. You'd think it'd be just cram packed full of people, but no. Ain't hardly anybody. I guess last night was the night to ride the road or something. This is a dead end road, this uh, side road. It's a dead end road, it dead ends down there. But I ain't gonna take no chances going through crossing that ditch and getting on Interstate 20. So I'm gonna go on down, about down there where that sign is about. Maybe a little bit further, but not much. Uh, it's Shaw Road. Well, that sign says Shaw Road, one mile. So, yeah, a little ways down is uh, the road that'll get me back on that 20. It ain't that far, really. It ain't no mile, either, to get back on the road. So, anyway, yeah, we're just... Uh, Packing up, had a couple of trains. But yeah, everything's going good so far. 
and I'll talk to you later.